not I'm not starting a meeting with a gavel because I got my kid mayor, she likes to be called, go and come up here and start a meeting. But I have had the pleasure um uh Emily Chambers interning with me all day that and uh, I'm gonna let her start to meet out and do the gavel and uh, she's she has been really interested in the mayor's work and what the city does the fire department and the police department and everybody has been really really great and and I think she's probably had a special day today so we should tell good side <laughs> <laughs> it's just trying to even out where the females are <laughs> she's all called me to the word uh, call the meeting order today for uh, the mayor and the council on the August 13, 2024. We have invocation by P. Shoger from South Crest Church. Is Pete here? Yes. Okay. And then we'll be followed by Pledge of Allegiance. Y'all stand. Right. Okay. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for today. God, I thank you for the city of LaGrange. God, for our mayor, for our council. God, for all the elected officials. God, I thank you for the businesses, both large and small. Lord, for the churches, for the families and individuals that make LaGrange such a great place to live. God, today as we meet and as we come together to make decisions that will move our city forward, God, I pray that we would focus on what unites us and not what divides us. God, that we would focus on your will and God, what you would have us to do, and that is to love you and love other people. In your name we pray these things. Amen. 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 All right. Uh, can I get approval for the minutes for the regular council meeting held on July 23rd, 2024? So moved. So, got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah, can you oppose? Same. Passes you down, it's like Patrick. Uh, employee recognition, moving right along. We got uh, Chief Willie Bradfield, 25 years of service. Amen. I'm not looking at you. Campbell Ricky. Ricky, you're by uh, <laughs> Chief Bradfield. Willie <laughs> Bradfield was born in Roanoke, Alabama, and graduated from Heard County High School in 1988. He began his career in the fire service as a volunteer for the Heard County Fire Department and was hired full time in 1997. In July of 1999, Willie became a member of the LaGrange Fire Department, where he completed rookie school with honors and later became a certified EMT. In 2005, Willie was promoted to sergeant, and Chief Smith said Sergeant Radfield is everything LaGrange Fire Department needs as an officer. A couple of years later, Willie was promoted to lieutenant, where he was acting battalion commander over four stations and 17 personnel. By 2010, Chief Bradfield had earned the rank of captain and was only given responsibilities for apparatus maintenance and payroll for the entire department. Reaching level of deputy chief in 2013 and assigned to suppression, Willie obtained his arson investigation certification, public safety director. Lou Deckmar stated that Willie was well respected throughout the department and community, took on more responsibility and was willing to do what it takes to help the Grange Fire Department reach its goals. By 2017, Willie was the administrative deputy chief responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of fire administration. Deckmar said that one of the greatest qualities is his great attitude. He is a pleasure to work with and makes everyone around him better. Willie received his associate's degree in fire science from Columbia Southern University in 2019 and was promoted to fire chief in April of 2023. Meg Kelsey stated that Chief Bradfield was instrumental in helping the department achieve accreditation from the Commission on Fire Accreditation International and acquire an ISO rating of two a distinction held by only 7% of the U.S. fire departments. Willie holds a fire chief certification through the Georgia Fire Chiefs Association as well as certification as a hazmat technician and fire investigator, and he has completed many other training classes. Willie is married to Elaine, and they have five children, C.J., Lane, Kyla, 
Alexis and Lena. If I've mispronounced any names, I'll apologize. <laughs> He's an active member of the State Line Baptist Church where he is chairman of the deacon board. In his free time, he enjoys many activities such as working in his shop and spending time with his family. Congratulations, Chief Bradfield, on 25 years of service to the Grange Fire Department. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. We, you want to come up? Thank you. From I'm not sure that that comes, but I'll back better. He did all humans at home. We did. All right. Carry it on. That old is the beautiful out of joy. Yeah. Then sat down. From a shit on an asking. Thank you. Did I go on the board? He did. Yeah, yeah, I'll sit down. Here. Then, I should wing my answer. Look, you see some boot. And it, you can get it. It's pretty fun. Didn't suit. Okay. And I take a picture of it. Yeah. Two, is there any other family here who wants to take a picture? Okay. That's it. The spanning up here? No, 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 look, let me get it. You didn't know. That's the end. You didn't want to stop. I'm inside. 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 I'm a great helper to me in, in my new role. I really appreciate that very much. Pleasant guy, always great, great attitude. Yeah. Thank, thank you. 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 That's great. Right. No public hearings, petitions, and communications. We got a Board of Planning and Zoning Appeals recommendation to grant a special use permit for personal care home located at 137 Parker Place. Hey, is that good to ask you? Wait, oh, right, no. Ask if you want to give them just a minute. I will. Let them get, let them exit out. You must appreciate it. Yes, sir. So, so what please. please. Come. Wait, yeah, I'll see. Come on. It's a big one. You should be good now. It should be good. Last one right. going out. How dare you? All right. I'm going to say, first of all, good afternoon, Mr. Mayor and members of the council. Consistent with our discussion held this morning, during the work session, the Board of Planning and Zoning appeal recommend reviewing an application for consideration for a special use permit to allow a personal care home to operate at 137 Parker Place. This location, formerly Leisure Living, was a personal care home until recent, and due to the fact that a special use permit is non-transferable, it has to be approved in order for the new owner to operate it as a personal care home. The Board of Planning Zone recommend that the application be approved for special use permit. And if it's your pleasure, you may call for a public hearing to be held on Tuesday, September the 10th at 530. I have a recommendation or a motion to, to call for public hearing. Motion to call for public hearing. Second the motion. Got a motion and a second. All in favor. Or, uh, uh, any questions? First. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same. Passes unanimously. Thank you. To send the takes in back. Uh, report. We got city manager report. Yes, sir. Um, the city council has declared two pieces of property surplus, uh, 300 Country Club and also 116 Jarbo Street. They were properly advertised and sealed bid to were received. Appreciate uh, Melissa's help with uh, getting that done. Uh, we received a, a high bid for the Country Club property at $180,101 and for the Jarbo Street at $8,600. So we're requesting that you'll authorize the city manager to execute the sales contracts and uh, and sell these pieces of property. So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say pass unanimously. Thank you. Uh, the next item is, um, as Bill discussed this morning, uh, we've had a request from Dash to install a, a sidewalk off of Garfield Street. And we'd like to quit claim to the adjoining property owners. The um, half of the half of the lot goes to one property owner, half goes to the other. So, that you would authorize to be here to uh, to uh, quit claim those properties to those property owners, allow the uh, the mayor to to execute the document. So, move to abandon the island. Second. 
Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? Mayor, I have a question. Okay. Uh, is Dash building the sidewalk? Yes, sir. Dash will be building the sidewalk. City won't have any involvement in that. Do we have any prior plans for it? Any anything else you're going to do with it besides sidewalk? No, there's no infrastructure or anything. It, it was pretty narrow. I mean, yes. I, I didn't see how, the, how I mean, feet it was across, but it looked to me like 10 or 12 feet. So just enough for them to get the sidewalk into the path. We'd already been in a, pro, a previous a piece down the road and that was attached to mm -hmm. it, so it was just a continuation out there with that. Right. Any other questions? No, sir. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same. Pass you now, Chief. And the last item is as discussed in the work session um, and presented by uh, Mr. Bullock. We'd like to amend the personnel policy to allow employees to use sick time for uh, sick relatives. And uh, the change is going to distribute it to the council. And if it be your desire, we uh, elect to approve. Can I get a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same. Pass it unanimously. I send in my report. All right. Thank you. Under, under resolutions, we have to authorize the mayor and clerk to sign an agreement with the Insurance and Safety Fire Commissioner's Office. And so this was discussed uh, in the work session as well uh, by John Thomas, our uh, uh, local fire marshal, and we recommend approval of this agency to the local citizens. So move to, to approve. Second. A motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same. Pass unanimous. Excellent. First reading of ordinances, the Sidewalk Cafe Hillside. In order to the Mayor Council of the City of the Braves to amend the code to amend the Alcoholic Beverages Ordinance in order to create the Hillside District and authorize sidewalk cafes therein to repeal conflicting ordinances and fix and update the purchases. Got anti-camping. An ordinance of the Mayor Council of the City of the Braves to amend the public park ordinance for the city to define and prohibit camping or storing of personal property within city park sidewalks or white and white to provide exceptions to establish a penalty to appeal conflicting ordinances to fix an effective date and for other purposes. Okay. Under second reading of ordinances, uh, modify the speed limit on Ann Bailey Way. An ordinance of the Mayor Council of the City of the Brains to amend the code of the city in order to modify the speed limit on Ann Bailey Way to repeal conflicting ordinances to fix an effective date for other purposes. Motion to approve. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? About all or just out? Just out. Just the speed limit increase and belt. That makes it quick. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed, same. Passes unanimously. Uh, no board and agency appointments, no delegations. Closing comments, Ms. Katie Vanchel. Yes, sir, Mr. Mayor. The good news for tonight is that a group of city employees were caught doing a good deed again. The sanitation crew of Junior Garrett, Ladarius Strozier, and Devin Favors just happened to be driving down Old Pond Road on July 23rd when one of the homes had a water pipe burst. The only people home at the time were the family's 15 and 12 year old daughters. The city employees stopped what they were doing and helped to turn the water valve off, even digging in the mud to help find it. The parents were so grateful that they reached out to city manager Patrick Bowie and let him know how wonderful our employees are. This is the same crew that received accolades from a resident earlier this month for being professional, friendly, and wonderful representatives of the city of the Grange. So very good news. That's all. Awesome. That's that's awesome. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, no, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. So, I, you know, I'm new to this. So, do, so we have a first reading of the ordinance. When do we have a? Do we not have a public hearing on those things, or did we already have that? That'd be a question or, for Laurie Todd. But the public hearings are not for every ordinance. Okay. They're for specific ordinances. Um, anytime you modify the zoning ordinance, anytime you rezone property. Okay. So the other ones are just first and second. Yeah. Okay, I'm third now. There you go. I was just right. And I'm going to ask my mayor intern to come up here and gavel us out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's the fish. I'm glad you some strict sag that just stops on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.